in an effort to combat wildlife trafficking. South African scientists are inserting radioactive material into rhino horns to make them traceable and less desirable to poachers. The initiative, known as the Rhysotope Project, is led by the University of the Witwatersrand and supported by the International Atomic Energy Agency. Here's James Larkin from the university's Radiation and Health Physics Unit. By making the horns radioactive, we are making those horns, devaluing those horns in the eyes of the poacher and the end users. No one wants a radioactive horn. South Africa is home to the world's largest rhino population and remains a hotspot for poaching. In the first quarter of 2025 alone, 103 rhinos were killed, according to the Ministry of Forestry, Fisheries and the Environment. In June 2024, radioisotopes were inserted into 20 rhinos as part of a pilot phase. Ghent University in Belgium have confirmed the process is non-invasive and poses no risk to the animal. Ari van de Venter, founder of the Rhino Orphanage, says it is a game-changer for the species. Now with the Rhizotope project, you can't take that horn anywhere. It is radioactive, you can't take it through any airport, any harbour, any customs office, sirens go off, it is wonderful, I'm telling you this could be the holy grail to save the species. The project's success could pave the way for similar applications to protect other endangered species.